Depending on the model, a dishwasher may use a flow-through heating element as part of the circulation pump assembly to heat the water being circulated through the appliance. If the dishwasher's water isn't heating or the dishwasher is not drying the dishes properly, it's possible the flow-through heating element is malfunctioning. You can use a multimeter to test the element for electrical continuity, a continuous electrical path present in the component, as well as determine if power is being sent to the flow-through heater. Before you begin any testing, shut off the power to the dishwasher. The flow-through heating element is normally located on the sump assembly. You will probably need to fully uninstall the dishwasher, tip it back onto its rear panel, and potentially pull the base away from the tub or remove a bottom panel to access the heater. You can also fully uninstall the component to test it. Once you've reached the component, refer to the appliance's wiring diagram to identify the heater's input and output terminals or pins, as well as the designated ohms of resistance for those terminals. Set the multimeter's range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Now contact the black meter lead to the heater's input terminal and the red lead to the output terminal. If the multimeter display shows a result between 5 and 30 ohms of resistance, the heater has electrical continuity and should be functional. However, if the meter display shows less than 5 ohms of resistance, the heater is likely faulty and should be replaced. You can also use the multimeter to test whether the control board is sending the appropriate voltage to the heater in order for it to operate. The control board may be located behind the outer door panel or behind the lower access panel or panels. Using the appliance's wiring diagram, identify the terminals or pins on the control board that supply power to the flow-through heater. Set the multimeter to volts AC and restore power to the dishwasher. With the power restored, be careful not to touch any components with your hands. Select a heated wash cycle and press start. After the tank fills, contact the black meter lead to the board's neutral terminal or pin and the red lead to the power terminal or pin. If the meter display shows close to 120 volts being sent by the control board, you'll know the board is not the cause of the problem. If the control board is not providing sufficient voltage to the flow-through heater, then a new control board will need to be installed.